Amor Vita sponsors Ben Hatchet. Let's be real. Welcome to Let's Be Real with me, Ben Hatchet. Today, I'm going to find out what the score is with cannabis, but not like the normal cannabis. Today is like the CBD oil. It definitely wasn't about when I was out. It's new. I keep hearing my things about it, like good rate, good things. It's everywhere now, and drinks and this. Obviously, a new shop in Hastings. Obviously, where I live now. So obviously, going to be supporting local businesses and that. And let's go find out. So, obviously today on the road, like when I was away, there was no CBD. Yeah. It was all actually like, straight cannabis. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. now it is everywhere. It's in drinks. It's in this. It's pro. It's this. So I want, today, hopefully, you'll give us an insight and tell us the benefits of CBD. Yeah, man. So, like a lot of people come over, like say from smoking weed to get onto CBD, and a lot of people don't really know what it is and where it comes from. So basically. THC, the thing gets you high in cannabis, that's a cannabinoid. And in the, in the cannabis plant, there's over like 116 different cannabinoids. Each one has a different medicinal property. But the one that got picked up on probably like five, 10 years ago was CBD. That was the first one that was discovered and people started realizing how good CBD was. But there's so many different ones now. So you've got CBG, CBN, CBA, more getting What's discovered. that, what do, you, what do you mean, the CBD and CBG? So yeah, so CBD really is the one that's good for anxiety. So that's really? when it first got discovered. But they're discovering now the other ones, like CBG, CBN, they're the ones that are really good for pain. So in all our products, most of them are full spectrum. So that means the oil that's extracted from the plant, all the cannabinoids that are in it, nothing are taken out. Yeah. So you go to places like Holland and Barra and Tesco and things like that, they just normally do products that have got an oil but they've just got CBD in them. Yeah. So they're like selling them all, this will help with pain, this will help with that, this will help with that. But really, they're just going to help with a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. Where we've got all these different cannabinoids in our products, you see all the oils behind you. You're the bees knees then, you're the, yeah, you're yeah, the proper, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You're the we're, we're not the commercial, we're like, yeah, 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 yeah proper. This is the proper stuff. So like here, Pasha Mama, they're a great brand, all made in uh, California. What is, what is that, is that tea? These are oils. Oh, so yes. all this stuff here are oils, yeah? So they're stuff you put sublingually under your tongue, literally a couple drops in the morning, a couple drops in the evening, yeah. and you let it do its thing. Um, it's gonna help with anxiety, blood pressure, different pains, swelling. So when I know about white weed though, that yeah, is when I, that was yeah, back yeah. in the rhino days and all that, back when I was like 13, that was the weed. So yeah, if you get a shot on these, what this company have done, they've just given like a little nod to cannabis. So yeah. they know a lot of people that are gonna be using these products are also gonna be into cannabis so the whole point of these is that they taste like those strains and people can say oh it's quite relatable to a lot of people do you know what i mean so like white widow mm. skittles things like that then we've got the ones here black ice icing strain you know granddaddy purple lemon haze oh look at that that's what i've heard of that yeah of course you have and then up here we've got <laughs> skittles girl scout cookies girl scout cookies made famous by burner in america with this cookies brand so that's why that's really famous. So we, so with the oils and that, so you say you put a joint, like how fast that to visit? Obviously you smoke a joint, not that I know. That you, obviously within like 10 minutes, you're, you know, you're gonna feel it, you're high on five minutes, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the oils, oils are a bit slower acting than things like the pens. The pens get in your system a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, the oils take one in the morning, take one in the evening and gradually build up in your system. A lot of people say like, you know, like paracetamol and things like that. Doctors will say, don't take it when you get pain, take it regularly to build it up in the system yeah. and that's what we recommend with these so oh, okay. take a couple in the morning take a couple in the evening it takes about seven days to really like get your system with the oils and start making good effects but these ones are a lot quicker you'll start feeling the effects of these straight away i personally suffer from my anxiety and stuff and as soon as i have a drag on my pen i use the granddaddy purple well, one it's helped man because i am obviously anxiety is one of my demons as well it's like one of my personal battles of fight daily is, is obviously anxiety. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that's what it actually does, yeah. It really, really does help, yeah, it really does help. That's the main thing that when it first came around that they were promoting for, CBD helps with anxiety. And yeah. It's easy to think like, oh, this is a gimmick, but it really isn't. CBD genuinely does help. You can yeah. see it all over the internet, people online, like there's so many good benefits from it. Yeah, you know, like CBD, CBD. Is that, have you not like the, the certain ones that you can do for pains and stuff? Yeah, yeah, so the CBG is really good for pain. So what you want to, it, there, some people do do CBG oils now, so it's just strictly CBG, but then you're not getting like the full spectrum benefit. So you want to just go for a full spectrum oil, then you've got all the cannabinoids in there. So like I said about these ones, you're going to get the CBG for pain, the CBA for arthritis and swelling, the CBD yeah. for anxiety. Yeah. So it's going to help. And it's only like getting better and better. They're discovering what more and more of the cannabinoids do. And like the natural terpenes, you get in like actual real cannabis plants. Like 
if you look at like a lemon for example, it smells of lemon because it's got something in it called lemonin, which is a terpene. Mm -hmm. Now like lemon haze has that exact same property in it. So it's crazy they've discovered like a lemon and a cannabis plant like have the same terpenes in them. So now they extract the terpenes from the cannabis to use it medicinally, which is crazy. So it's actually like this, like lavender oil for example. You know lavender oil, the way it's good for things. Mm. That's a terpene, lavender oil. So they're taking the terpenes out of cannabis now and using them medicinally, which is crazy. So you've literally just opened up as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we opened up Saturday. Had a great launch Saturday, family, friends, very generous, they all came down, you know, it's always going to be a, a better day Saturday. But yeah, we're doing really well, people are really interested, people are loving all the different products. We try to offer like a good range, like most of the stuff we've got here is like beauty and balms and things like that. There's so many different options. So the topical ones are good because you can really like target somewhere. Like the pain creams, we've got an example, like you've got arthritis in your hand, instead of like taking a tablet to try and help everything, you can just specifically rub it in a pain area. But there's so many different ones and there's so many benefits of just hemp as well. Like the hemp cream's got so many good essential oils in them. Like these ones, for example, that's what they really go for, the hemp side of it. There's the hemp oil in them, it's so good for like anti-aging, skin repair. Things so like do you think anybody's like, you see you saying about the full spectrum, though? Mm. this is like the full spectrum sort of gear, this is like the top notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there people, because you always see like, especially on the social media, like, oh, we're selling this, we're selling this, we're selling that. Do you think it's, is it like, the Hollywood Barrett sort of stuff where it's not the full spectrum and they're like yeah. having people off or anything like that. Do you get what I mean? There's definitely a lot of that out there, but the yeah. industry got regulated like at the end of May. Okay. So now to sell, well not to sell it, to produce it, you need to have something called a novel foods license. Yeah. Because there was loads of people like making stuff in their bedroom and whatnot and just selling it online. Like, yeah, I've got an oil. And they were just literally like ordering CBD isolate online. And, Mix it with some coconut oil and be like, yeah, I've got CBD oil. Yeah, but now, now, well, it was. People might have had like, a bit of a bad experience, they might have like opinion now. That's why I was asking. Exactly, exactly. you know what I mean? Now, the industry's been regulated now, fully regulated. So all the stuff we have is lab tested, yeah. has to have 0.02% or less THC in it. So, literally, nothing we sell in there will get you high. Some people might not see that as a benefit. That's a shame. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a yeah, go. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. So when it comes to like pricing wise, so, yeah. so, so like we can see here, like so muscle gel, twenty five ninety nine. Yeah. So that's obviously going to be like really top notch stuff. Yeah, yeah, price yeah, yeah. It is. So when you go, not obviously slating off different shops like Holland mm. and Barrett, etc., yeah, yeah. but they do like the cheaper versions. Yeah. Would you say because they're doing the cheaper versions, they're not going to be as potent as strong as what they would be with a high price? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's easy for me to say that, isn't it? Because I own shops. Sure. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Our stuff's priced reasonably. Like if you look at other places online, like I'd say they're actually a bit more expensive than this. So Holland Barrett makes most of their stuff with CBD isolate. So like I say, it's just got the CBD in it. And then they do do some stuff with CBG, but like I said, all our stuff's full spectrum and the price reflects that. I think the you know the beauty industry is getting more and more expensive yeah. anyway, and it's crazy. Like I think when my missus was doing a lot of the pricing, I was surprised how expensive you know beauty or beauty lotions and things like that are anyway. So like that, for example, for the whole thing, it's only 20 quid. And you know, you're getting 200 mil in there, 300 milligrams of CBD, and that's a hell of a big pot. Like something like that from the body shop, it'd probably be like 40 quid without mm. the CBD in it, do you know what yeah. I mean? And I guess it's the brands, down to the brands, how much they value themselves as well. They give us, they give us a recommended retail price, and we, do, we, we don't have to follow it, we follow it with one. But I mean, Is at the end of the day, it's... Is there any dangers with like CBD, like overdosing or anything like that? No, it's same as like cannabis. No one's ever overdosed from cannabis in their life. So, you know, like a lot of people say things like cannabis can cause psychosis. They talk about skunk and things like that. But I think it's just about educating people. You know, skunk is a strain of cannabis. It's a potent strain. And when it was on the street years ago, a lot of people were like, oh, I'm getting, my son's getting got psychosis from smoking skunk when he's 14. But that's more just smoking weed from the age of 14. Like, ain't the best thing to do for an undeveloped brain. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not fully developed and you're putting psychoactive material in your brain. So there's no side effects. If you overdose on CBD, well, you can't overdose. If you took too much, you might be a bit sleepy. That's it. Do you know what I mean? It's going to make you a bit tired. But it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not like having 30 cans of steroids or something you're going to start. Because there you go, well. yeah. What's worse? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's crazy to think that, you know, cannabis is still illegal and it's got all this medicinal benefits and then you've got. Loads of people, as we know in St. Leonard, the problems we have with alcohol and drugs and things like that, yeah. you know what it's like. It is, the other uh, drink, and the, the drink and it causes to love a drug, the coke and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. writes people off, doesn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. but a, a lot of like the companies now are just so much more than CBD, they add like essential oils and things like that. So Trip, they're a company that add like so many different essential oils to them, you know, lavender, lemon and things like that, that make it really 
more beneficial above and beyond the CBD, like really establishing themselves as like a health company rather than a CBD brand. So the old gummy bears, is that, is that, is that one like with Mayweather and all that? Like, I know like Floyd Mayweather, he's doing things oh, like that. I've seen that. I think, I think it could be in Bill. I know oh, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. gummy, I've seen that a few people on the social, like the gummy bears and CBDs, isn't it? Yeah, they're really popular. They're full spectrum as well, broad spectrum actually. They are. So you've got a few little things. So you have full spectrum, which is literally everything from the plant, like I said. But with broad spectrum, they just get a few of the cannabinoids. Because a lot of people are worried about like the pesticides and things that they might be growing with. So when you take a full spectrum plant, you're literally not taking anything out of it. Oh, okay. So a few companies like are a bit wary of it. And it has the trace element of THC in it. So you know some people do their jobs, they get drug tested and things like yeah. that. So you could fail with drug tests at full spectrum. You shouldn't. But some people are worried, do you know what I mean? They're like, I'm getting drug tested, I'm a teacher or whatever, and I don't want to have any THC in my system, so they just don't want to take the risk. So companies like this, I guess they're just doing it for safety reasons. They want to separate themselves from THC. They don't want to be associated with it. I understand why they do it. Um, but I would like to see all the products in the end to be full spectrum. But it's the company's prerogative at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, but yeah, they're all doing good things. All these companies with like, we're carefully selective and made sure we've got good brands that are doing good things that are actually active and have actually yeah. got a purpose behind the brand, you know? Yeah. Well, good. Right, well, should we try should we try one of should we try one of the yeah, products? Yeah, yeah. Go for it, go for it. That's the white widow. It's been a long time since I started <laughs> the white widow. Very long time, never done it. Alright, let's go. You want you wanna share a bit of white widow with me? Bit of what we yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is just like a vape, just puff? Yeah, yeah, disposable. So they get come with about 200 puffs. Yeah. 200 milligrams of CBD. Oh no, you got that one, 300 milligrams of CBD in there, so they're quite yeah. strong. There you go, and then drag away, and then yeah, nice and disposable. You just get rid of them when they're done. Take your back. <laughs> you feel it on the floor? Yeah? You feel it on the back of the floor? No. They're decent though. Get the puff. I think they're really good for like, trying to quit fags as well. Because I'm bad for fags, I just like to have something in my hand. So like this has helped me hey, so much with the nicotine. Got to wipe it COVID and that. <laughs> <laughs> We're COVID these, safe. These smoking with her, aren't they? <laughs> it's like a what's that? What's the taste of that? What's the flavour? They, I don't know what terpenes have actually put in this one. To be fair, it tastes like lavender itself. Yeah, yeah, natural terpenes that they've just tried to recreate the taste of white widow. Imagine that being good for people quit smoking that as well. Like yeah. they are puffing off. Was, then just... Yeah, that's a good thing about them. I mean, we have the juices as well. Like, so they're just actually for like vape pens. So people that have vape pens already can just fill it up with that. You don't want to use a disposable one. But yeah, they're decent. They're my favourite product we have in the store. I use them all the time. Even the protein drinks and that as well. Yeah, yeah, the protein. Do. So good before and after training. Um, like I said, it's great muscle relaxant CBD. So loads of people are popping them. So there's even the big C um, protein companies are starting to do CBD protein. It's one crazy CBD. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this because it's CBD. You just see it everywhere in it now, isn't yeah. it? It's just sort of like, there's got to be something behind it then. If like. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, because when it first came around, I think like a lot of people did jump on the bandwagon. There was like. It was quite gimmicky, there was a lot of gimmicky products, but now it's been regulated. The yeah. people that are left in the industry are the people that are actually doing it properly. Yeah. A lot of people actually care about customers and actually like, want to make a difference with their products. So mm -hmm. it's really, really good. No, 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 I think it's absolutely great. You know I mean? Thank you for like, the insight. No, thank you for coming down. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate it's, it. It's interesting. I've learned a lot, like the saying, I've heard the full, this full spectrum build, but I didn't know what it was. Like, so yeah, really, yeah. Like, yeah. And that's the thing, I think a lot of companies are quite ignorant in the way they like market it, it's getting better, but a lot of people just assume that people don't know what it is, you know yeah. what I mean, and they're just, yeah, full spectrum CBD, but you've never taken it before and you don't understand it, it's quite like a daunting industry, mm. and I think a lot of people that I've spoken to have come here and said they haven't bought CBD, so they don't understand it, mm. they're like, what's that, what's the milligram, what's the strength, what's, what does all this mean, so, yeah. it's nice to be able to have a shop instead of just a website where we can actually talk to people, and explain what's going on. So yeah, yeah it's really good. We're happy with your customers, and I hope yeah, this yeah. will be inside. So if anyone is in St. Leonard's, Hastings, Zero, Bexhill, you will come down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, up, then. Come in for a chat as well. Don't feel like you ever have to come in and buy anything. We want to help people. Like I'm a mental health sufferer myself, and that's, that's why I got into CBD. So come in for a chat, talk about it. 
you know, any questions, I can help you. It's crazy because a lot of people don't want to come in and have that chat, they feel pressured, but honestly, we're here to talk, we're here to help people. So come by, have a chat, we'll see what we can do. It's so good for, for mental health problems. If you're taking things like citalopram, Prozac, that's what I was taking, and CBD's helped me come off it. I completely stopped taking my antidepressants. My anxiety's going away more and more every day, so. That's amazing. I love yeah. this, uh, coming for chats, man. Yeah, man, absolutely. I really, really rate that. I love yeah. that, honestly, I really We've do. We've got to help people, amazing. man, because it's, it's so important. Mental health is such a big thing now, especially with COVID and everything going on. People have been locked inside for like 18 months, which just hasn't helped people. Yeah. So come in, especially the guys. Don't be afraid to chat about mental health, man. Yeah, well, people know. People follow me. They know that I'm, 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 I'm open about it. I talk about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Especially in my background, people like, you know what I mean? I talk about it. I'm not afraid to. Just come out of depression as well. No, that's why I'm back to filming. Yeah, cool. You know what I mean? That's why, yeah, that's why with this one, I mean, obviously, Jamie that said about mental health and anxiety and that. That's what, yeah. Yeah, that's what definitely agreed. I was like, yeah, 100%, man, we we'll do this. I'm glad I did, man. It's been interesting. That's yeah, why you took me down memory lane. After coming for, I'm trying to pick. Yeah, after yeah. coming for a tea, you come, come in and get some in. bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your friends to come down. We'll sort them out. Like I said, we're here anytime. Have a chat. Yeah. Have a coffee. Get some recommendations. Don't feel under pressure to buy anything. Just come by. Well, Canny. And all the links now will be in the description box and as well to follow down in the shop and. You know what I mean? Hopefully ways that people can reach out and that to you as well. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate uh, big it. respect, man. Good luck with what you do. I appreciate it, man.